Now you may be wondering what this is. This is my February project box. Inside this cardboard box is pretty much everything I need to complete my project for this month. That project is, I'm gonna make a Pip-Boy 3000. A Pip-Boy 3000 is a device found in the game series Fallout. Uh, my experience of Fallout is namely Fallout 3, New Vegas, and I've just started playing Fallout 4. This model is based on the Pip-Boy from Fallout 3 and also New Vegas. The Pip-Boy in-game allows you to, it's essentially your in-game menu for statistics, items and whatnot. This is February's project and it's starting with a cardboard box. So let's see exactly what I have in the box itself. You saw the general design of the Pit Boy from the in game footage that I included in this video. This is the 3D print of the Pit Boy. I got it from Etsy, a company called Dried Gear. I'll put a link to that in the description. Actually, I'll try and put links to everything I mentioned in the description of the video. This came in a few more parts when it first came to me and took a bit of filing and gluing and punching into place to work so it's not it doesn't come along perfect it does take a little while to actually get done properly but these this is the frame I have to work with these are the main electronic components of the pit boy here we have a wireless keyboard to function it when it's on um, we have Wi-Fi connectivity and the USB receiver for the wireless keyboard that attaches to the Raspberry Pi. For the display, I'm using a three and a half inch um, Raspberry Pi touchscreen display that works on the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. This is the front element from a slide viewer. An old slide viewer bought on eBay, I took it apart, and this element here is what's gonna give the touchscreen that CRT look that you find in the in-game display. This is the power source for it, just your average power bank that can connect directly to the Raspberry Pi. And this is a right angled USB cable because the space is quite limited. And last but not least, we have the LED lights. These aren't going to be powered, they're just there for show. But they're still part of the whole design. Aside from the bits that I mentioned at the beginning that I'm missing, the paints and the Bluetooth adapter, really the only extra things I'm using are glue and screws.